OK, so we're going to start off with... I think we're going to hit a price record with this one. Uh, Sandy Bay in, um, in Tassie. I spoke to the agent, uh, Ant Manton, who told me a little bit about this home. So Sandy Bay is the premier suburb of Hobart. Um, it's just on the fringe of the CBD. It's only minutes from the CBD. Incredible views. 801 uh, square metres of living space. Um, and we're talking about... Uh, a property that's got amazing living, a 15 metre pool, abundance of parking, um, lots of flexible heating options throughout the property. I mean, you need that in Tassie. Um, and it's, uh, it's just a, an amazing home. As I said, this property at 3.5 to 4 million is going to hit a record in um, Sandy Bay. And I see solar and electric heated pool. That was the big thing in the UK. If you were rich enough to have an indoor pool which was um, which is heated, you're pretty rich in the UK. It's same for Hobart, is it? Well, let me say, Chris, if we get you into this house, we're going to take a photo of you showing that it's a warm pool and we can send postcards to the UK. I think, yeah, so I think they might turn off some of the uh, the, the bars. So <laughs> some of you won't do that. <laughs> the thing that breaks the internet. Correct. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Now, Tom, it's obviously coming up to uh, springtime. What is it that um, some of the, uh, the vendors should be asking their agents when it comes to um, selling their property? Well, I think at the moment, Chris, people that are going to sell in spring are talking to their agents now. Spring's a, an influx of properties coming onto the market and some vendors can get a hidden 10% in the value of their home if they're intelligent about it. And I thought I'll just tell you that a couple of the things that our viewers that are watching this should understand is that the value of their home is dependent on four things. Number one, it's the location. And you know as a buyer's agent how important location is. The other thing is the presentation of the property. The third thing is the agent that they pick. And the fourth thing is the strategy the agent uses. Now, the great news is, Chris, that out of those four things, the vendor can control three of those. They can control the presentation, they can control who they pick to sell with, and they can control the strategy. So a couple of the points that I might touch on is, the first one is this concept of now called social skimming. So what we're seeing is that consumers, whether they're on Instagram or realestate.com.au, they're using their thumb and they're flying through things. You know, there's a congested zone on the internet. There's so much information. So they're flying through things. And what I'm saying to the viewers, make sure that as people are flying through, that you've got photos and headlines that stops the consumer and says, wow, look at that. So I would say make sure that you're using amazing photography, great copywriting, and video is a very good um, sticker on social media and on websites. So I would say make sure that you're using world-class marketing. The second thing is, is the strategy of pricing. You want to outprice the competition. And Lee would know from the world of banking that that headline number seems to attract eyeballs. And in real estate, we know that a lower figure attracts people. So what I'm saying is, don't sell your property too cheap, but be intelligent. You want to outprice the competition. And whether it's an auction or a private treaty, you might have to, you know, you want to try and encourage the right audience to come through. And once you've got that audience in, you can actually get people to fight over the property. So one of the things that we know about psychology and um, real estate is that people filter with their brain, but buy with their heart. So what you want to do is get people into the property and once they're there, competition will get you top dollar. Competition wins gold medals at the Olympic Games and competition gets record prices in real estate. Tom, if I was selling my property, I'll get you out of retirement to come and sell it <laughs> and auctioneer it. I would come and do that for you. Good man. I'm never, I'm never selling, though. That's the only problem. I'm going to see you, Tom.